You are about to see a movie provoked by my desire to make something good out of something bad. And four years ago, something bad happened to me. I had a fire nine days ago. My archive, 175 films, my 16 millimeter negative, all my books, my dad's books, my photographs. I had collected, I was a collector, major, big time. It's gone. I just looked at it. And I didn't know what to do. I mean, this was, was I my things? And I was taught some strange thing as a kid, like, you got to make something good out of something bad. You got to make something good out of something bad. That phrase has been ringing in my head ever since the fire. And I'm here in downtown Santa Cruz, California, this Saturday morning. And I am about to enter the studio of artist sculptor Michael Leeds, who said he would help me to make something out of the burned pieces. I brought my video rig along to capture the process. And to my delight, stepping into Michael's world proved quite extraordinary. Michael's place was amazing, magical, so removed from the world. What a place to create. His collections were everywhere. And so I knew he would understand me as a collector. And you couldn't help but notice Michael's cars, designed and built by him alone, single-handedly, from the ground up, the engine, the chassis, every inch of it his. I felt that I was in the presence of a master, and so I placed myself in his hands. Lights, camera, action. That's my DVDs and mini DVDs. DVDs used to be. Put that in Tanzania. This? No, the, the jewelry. 16 millimeter rewinds. Eight millimeter, 16 millimeter and videotape. Super 8 millimeter editor. My first film. It's my first film. And this uh, painting, I keep it very important to me because I only have two paintings from my dad, who was an artist. It still looks beautiful to me. Well, yeah. I was kind of this. Yeah, so here we go. How about we get a little bit of wire and we start creating a mobile here? Okay. I mean, let's play the cards that we have, okay? I'm going to get a little bit of wire. Creepy, huh? Well, I don't know where this will go, but here we go. You can certainly look at 
a fire like you got hung. Well, yeah, that's how I felt. Okay, so I thought I'd, I'd create a we create a thing here that very like um like a Salvador Dali thing, just kind of these things that come up and hold this like this because there's no way to and it just kind of sits here and here and it just cradles right in there like mm -hmm. that. So I'm going to make some templates here. Having dominion over stuff, uh -huh. you know, it's like over the material world. And the thing is, is that for me, the comparison between the actual world and the virtual world, it's no contest, you know, uh, right? It's like this, this is life. It's real. Yes. Yeah. It's not recycled pixels, you know? <laughs> There we go, huh? Here are all the heads. I've lined them up for you. Here. Okay. Look at that. Huh? It's great. So we can divide these into necks with openings mm -hmm. and necks without openings. And then we could do... I love else. dolls' heads. Like Broken dolls' heads. To me, there's something very beautiful and tragic about a doll who's head has been broken. We could do a thing with, with like a, a, a piece of, um, of wood in the front here and I was thinking it might be nice curved and then we could put screws in and then we can mount all these heads, the heads like, on the screws on the screws and then and I'm thinking actually you know like a thing uh, uh, like a, a, half moon? A, a thing from a, a, a rocking chair you know a nice curved piece of wood that was something see that's appropriate because everything here was something that was useful but now we're repurposing it but these the, all this stuff has just incredible value because it talks about th that moment in time when it was created and it, and there's like this porthole to view our culture or any culture in that moment there's, there's the, the lifestyle, the aesthetics, the purpose it was used for, the machines that made it, the level of technology that we had, and you know, so forth and so on. And, and it's beauty. I find all these things yeah. beautiful. And, and it's beauty. Yeah, and it's beauty. Let's just get something we that represents what that's going to be. And I think let's just use that piece of pine siding that I have here. I don't even remember where this... Oh, this was a ceiling from... Uh, one of the rooms in my house. We'll just do a thing about probably about that yeah, I long. Yeah, like these screws. You like those screw holes and everything? Well, you know what? This is going to be a. Maybe this is the end. The, the piece that we end up with. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We can actually build a little thing to accommodate this so it looks very intentional. And then each of we can mount the heads all uh, I kind of like a nail versus a nail, a okay. Creating artifacts out of the remnants of disaster. I'm kind of thinking about grouping these, like this was a couple or friends, and this is the the patriarch of the the little clan here. I don't know. So we just kind of go with it and see what happens. And this little 
piece of pair of pliers is $150. I guess you can do stuff like this. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, it's a person. That's a person, a little baby. Yeah. A little teeny baby with a bow on its head. Oh, Those yeah. are not ears. That's a that's a bow, huh? Isn't that terrific? Let's see this one's good for there. And this one's good for there. <laughs> a lot of people they, they need to know what it's gonna be before they start. See and this this opens up a whole dialogue around process. You want to know what it's going to look like before you start. Every choice you make is the death of a million other possibilities. You're taking that future, that space, and you're filling it with something before you even know what the options are. And are, we're conditioned to want to know. Anxiety. Yes. Because not, you don't know. Yeah. And so in order to really kind of step into a creative moment, you just need to bring your confidence and your accumulation of experience and an openness, openness to stuff that you don't know yet and the possibilities in that moment. And you know, that is like so hard for, for everybody. <laughs> Boom, look at that. And that goes there. And put a screw in there and everything's in flux at this point. And then we just kind of like sculpting it where the, the term that I like to use is coalescing in the ether. You know? And then you get oh you go, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh that's it, that's it. And then you you know you nail it. That moment is very satisfying. I yeah, and so you've got this terrific adventure, you know, going on. You've just entered upon this, into this realm, you know, behind the wardrobe, you know, of, of endless possibilities that you couldn't have conceived before you started. Yeah. Looks good, huh? <laughs> Very. Yep, we're okay. good there. We're good there. I think that's good. Hmm. Oh, with the jewel. This should be the front, I think. millimeter film. <laughs> well, I can simply put a screw, you know, kind of just mount it right like that. There you go. Voila. I feel there's something to be honored. To me, the greatness of what I did and how these things helped me to make my films and now there's still something remaining. It's not all garbage. That's how I feel about it. It's not all garbage. In fact, it's something to look at and think about and uh, provo be provoked by. Yeah, she's quite something, that girl on the top of my... Your burned and chattered remains of your... <laughs> family's friends your former life. This piece kind of honors my father's photographing of my life. That's my this early one? life. Yeah, that's oh. what the eight millimeter my father took of me wow. when I was a kid. Now, did that influence your career path? My Filmmaker? dad taught me how to see. He used to say to me, I'd say, that's a good picture when I was eight years old. And he'd say, yeah, yeah it's OK. And I would say, what do you mean, OK? And he would show me what the difference was between okay and really good. And really good. Wow. It was hard to hear, but made me able.
this it's melted plastic. It's melted plastic that's pretty. Do you like it like that or do you like it like that? I like it like that, like a being. Well it's great if it can be done. Okay. Is it possible? I'm thinking some strips of metal. What kind of metal? I think a sheet of aluminum. About just about that much. Mm -hmm. Put the chest forward. Yeah, you know. This was some of the aluminum that I used to build the body for the car that I'm building. And just a leftover piece of scrap. I'm thinking maybe just like a steel rod up through here and then down through there. This thing hanging down, this like that, this little thingies. Pull it off, okay. Pull it off. Okay. Maybe we keep this plastic on here, and we take a poignant image of one of your burned pictures, or a picture of your face, full size, burned around the edges. That's there, and then you're looking out from. I have, I have a burned picture of myself with smoke all over my face. That could be that could be pretty right, powerful, huh? Up. There we go. That's the ticket. <laughs> yeah, there's all the schmutz in the, in the. I just left it on there. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. Do you see it as just sadness or more? Oh, I think it's like very uh, mindful, soulful inquiry. You know, into the nature of our deepest fears and you know and our uh, our tapping into our ability to regenerate you know reconstitute ourselves you know don't you think I think your whole place is that uh -huh. this whole place reconstitutes throwaway oh absolutely so. yeah okay let's see how we're gonna put this together key like to seeing my very early computer. Eight millimeter camera. See so look at that. It's <laughs> that's my Earl Scruggs film, 1971. Earl Scruggs, Doc Watson, Bob Dylan and Joan Baez. Not much that shows that anymore, but it will make a good editing room. And you could put my first film here. Yeah. That is my first film. Yeah, I like that. If I had a hand, I'd put a hand on there. Uh -huh. Well, wait a second. Up. This is a little too... Uh... <laughs> yeah. something that's going to do this justice. It's this copper tubing is funky and we can make it snake it up there. That's great. Oh, Michael, that's a a piece of work that makes me just brings a emotional like a tear to my eye because that was my editing room many films made there 
Well, I think that we did something really good here, David. Thank you, Michael. My pleasure, David. That was very much a retreat. I'm proud to show that at the museum. just pieces. I felt bereft. I pulled myself up tall and began to dig, feeling shocked and exposed. My broken doll's head still look at the world with innocence. My angel watches over the 8mm films my dad took. In honor of the editing table, that was the center of my creativity. My rewind, my 8mm camera, my first film. People asked me how I felt about the show. Well, it certainly didn't replace what I could have done with those objects over time. But my goal was to make something good out of something bad, and I did. Plus, I had the wonderful creative experience that you just saw.